I've always been interested in this epic story, and I decided to pursue my dream by going in search of the mystery island. I took as my guide the late Robert Biddlestone's enthralling book about the mystery. It's called Odysseus Unbound, and I set out for the Ionian Islands in the hope of meeting one of his former colleagues and learning more. John Crawshaw is project coordinator of Odysseus Unbound. He's also a kindred spirit. Ken, why don't we start by taking a look at a map of the area so that we can get our bearings before we begin our tour. Here is Greece and to the left or the western side in the boxed area are the islands of Kefalonia and Ithaca. We're going to focus on Kefalonia and more specifically on the western part of Kefalonia which is called the Paliki Peninsula. Our hypothesis suggests that the Paliki Peninsula was once separated from the rest of Kefalonia with a marine channel through the narrow neck of the isthmus and this would make it a candidate to have once been the island of Ithaca. We plan to start our tour at Atheris Bay so why don't we head off there now. This is a view looking down on Atheris Bay and as you can see it's a spectacular spot. We think that Atheris Bay is a good candidate to have been the place where Odysseus landed after his ten years of wanderings and he landed at a place that Homer calls Forcus Bay. Forcus Bay was protected by two headlands and it made a very safe landing area where the seafarers could row their boat right up onto the sand. And this is very much true of Atheris Bay.